everyone. I'm not even going to make you wait five minutes today. Because we're going to do a stream and hopefully it's all going to work. <sighs> what a night. No sleep. Because i got no sleep, I figured screw it. I'll, I'll keep doing the 3D printing stuff and designing and whatnot. I've come up with this. This bad boy here. All going well. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't fit this one. On here I've got one that's fit that will support putting an SX-10 bumper on the Cross Demon. This bad boy should let you do it on a Cross Demon hard body truck. Okay, it's a two piece, two piece mount. All right. So we've got your top piece. That's where you put a bolt through your grill on the hard body trucks and it bolts into these. Then you've got the normal bottom piece that goes into the chassis. Hello everyone. Uh, let me refresh the view count if you don't mind. Come on, view count, what are you doing? Do your job, mate. There you go, lovely. So that's what I've been working on. Um, I, I did a few designs last night and I changed it probably 15 times. But this is all part of the fun. Got me, got me electric calipers out. Battery is flat. The only time ever. Battery is flat. Camo's with us. Andrew's with us. Bob's with us. Dennis is with us. Uh, ben Davis is with us. Hello, fellas. Hello. I better, I better shoot the message, the, the link. I can't spam it this time because I'll get in trouble with Facebook. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do, while we wait for some of you guys to rock up, is I'm going to bring the, the demon over here and see if, see if this one fits. Oh, I hope it does. So, for those that don't know, this is your normal um, demon bumper. This has got its own mounting setup in the back of it. So what I've tried to do is replicate the mounting setup on its own and then essentially design my own SCX-10 style mount for the front so it all fits. Now, the fun, half the fun in games for 3D Prince is clearing the daggy shit that's everywhere. If you don't, if you don't clear that, nothing will fit ever. Jack of all trades. Hi, right, James, checking in. I'm going to try and catch as much as possible, but I may be AFK from time to time. It's all right, mate. She's a pretty relaxed stream today. Something tells you might be keeping those calipers close. Well, I've got a, I've got a bloody, put a new battery in this stupid thing. I'm so annoyed. I did her old school, mate. I did her old school with a ruler, my eyes, and what was left of my brain by the time I was doing it all last night. So, right, I'll tell you something I'm going to do. I'm going to shut that bloody door. The reason I'm shutting it is because Hannah's in bed. She's doing night shifts and I don't want to be too loud, okay? So I try and keep it down, fellas. Anyway, so what I'm going to do while we're still waiting for some people to rock up is I'm going to whip the body off this truck. John's joined us. Hello, John. Thanks for joining, mate. Dennis is with us. The other Dennis. Right, so I'm quickly going to whip this mount here off. And then I'm going to try the latest design. Hopefully the latest design is Mickey Mouse. Now ideally what I would like to do... Mike's joined us, hello Mike. You'll be interested to see if this latest design works. Now, ideally what I want to do... Um, Chris has joined us, hello Chris. Because I like to push the boundaries and I like to try and achieve things. If I can design... Um, if I can design a really good mount that just fits perfectly and it's really easy to work, etc. and so on, I'm going to take it to some companies and say, what do you reckon? Let's make some fancy aluminum ones or some brass ones, whatever. It's worth a shot. There's no harm in trying. Now, Dennis, those bumper mats you've been making are a killer idea. Well, no one else is doing it. And I figured, you know what? Let's, let's see if we're going to be any good at this stuff. Unfortunately, this is the only bumper I could find. So, this is Hannah's old Jeep bumper. So it's just going to have to do. Um, 
And I, I should be able, technically, should be able to make a rear one too. But but yeah, so my, my plan is, I've been talking to companies saying, please make cross parts. Please make cross parts. I don't, the problem is, there's a lot of companies out there that don't realise how popular cross are. So that's the, that's the one I was just using on the truck then. This one isn't perfect. And I won't settle for anything less. So, the first test, will it slide into the chassis? Now you guys can watch with me. All right. No, it slides in. Oh, now I thought this might be an issue. Mm, I'm gonna have to trim off. And this is this is why we do numerous and numerous times. It won't be hard. I could truth be told do it with a pair of pliers. I need to take a smidge off. Where's my chrome pen? Chrome pen? Where are you? Uh, there it is. I had a feeling this might happen, and it's because I've designed it with a with the extra piece on top. So let me sort of hold this in such a fashion that it's all straight as it can be. I just I want to put a blob there. I want to put a blob uh, just sort of there. Okay. I can edit that really easily, which is good. And the bonus is. I can print this piece separately too. So, uh, yeah, ugh, hang on, Mick. Mike, Mick. Right, so we'll go, we'll go close up cam because we've got it. Okay, so the issue I'm having is, you see where that silver dot is there? If it'll focus, come on. Have a go, camera. Anyway, where that where that silver dot is. Um, the top piece of this bracket is just touching the chassis rail. I didn't allow for uh, main strength. I didn't allow for that extra little bit of clearance. So what I'm going to do is, real quick like, I'm going to take this piece off and then I'm going to put the, the main bracket in, make sure that fits. And then I'm going to grab, I've got some side cutters here somewhere, and I'm just going to see if I can snip a bit off that, um, the extra piece that bolts on. And if that's the case, well then I can go, okay, I'll take off probably four mil, something like that, and just make it work. But this is, this is a part of the, the design process. You've got to just try it and try it and try it. Okay, so let's see. That will slide straight in there. Shit, the holes even line up. Right, now I'm going to grab some bolts out of my tray of many bolts. One. Now I've made this so it bolts on the four bolts on the front to give us extra stability. Two, three. Two more shorties. Uh, we can do a longer one in the back. Oh, that's the same as that. Good out. So yes, I'm trying to push my push my limits, push myself with my Abilities, I guess you'd say. There's an old one that didn't print properly. Love it. Um, just trying to get better at it. Stepping stones, not useless pieces of plastic here. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. It's, I mean, I can't complain too much because the only issues I'm having is the small and easy to fix. Get the next one started. We've got a short bolt in the front, slightly longer bolt in the rear, and that's only due to having our um, having our SCX10 style tube in the back. Maybe hit up Yeah Racing. Well, I'll ask, I've already asked Sanix to make parts a thousand times. I'm sure I've asked Yeah Racing before too, but don't don't stress. I've got I've got some ideas. I've got some ideas. Worst case, if I have to, I'll go to a machine place and say, look, I've made this, here's the file, how much to make it in metal for me? Because cross trucks, are, cross trucks are too popular for us not to have fancy bits. I reckon. It enjoys a prototype and new stuff. It is. It's all a part of the fun. Bob's with us, Angus is with us. 
We would have been without trial and error. Don't know, mate. Probably would have got some sleep last night. <laughs> I, I've got a very strong personality in the sense of I don't let things win. So, I will win. So if I, if I set out to do something, bet your bottom dollar I'm going to do it. Okay, so, there's our, there's our, our bloody bracket in there. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, look out, someone's dropped a donation. Okay, just dropped six dollars, mate. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. I might use that to buy a coffee. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. It's very much appreciated. If anyone's watching that doesn't normally watch and doesn't hear the usual spill, if you want to donate, there's a link in the description how to do so. Let's, let's try and fill this bar up. That'll go towards postages and stuff like that. And all the fun stuff. So, yes. We've got that mounted up, and that feels that feels sturdy, okay? Now, cross your fingers and hope that this slides straight in. <laughs> Shit, the holes even line up. Okay. So now I'm going to drop my two bolts down to the top. I have to remove my little off-on switch to do this. Because stuff and things. Okay. Go on, start. I've got to start my own thread in these. Nah, no problem, mate. It's very much appreciated, dude. Mike, need to make a fireball for the SG4C. Okay. I could try that. Alright, now this bolt goes in. This is what holds our bumper. To these bad boys. I'm going to have to buy extra bolts. If I make some of these parts to sell to, to people with demons... I'm going to have to buy just a, like a big ass bag of bolts and such so that you've got everything. I don't just go, here's a couple of plastic bits, do what you will with it. Um, I intend to do stuff properly. So if I make these to sell them, I will um, make sure they've got bolts. I'll make sure all the holes are threaded. I'll make sure that all you have to do is bolt it onto your truck and it's simple. All right, so that's got our... I think, I think that'll be alright, won't it? Well, it passes the didn't smash myself in the face test, so that's good, okay? That's plenty strong enough. So you can mount a winch now to that bumper, or your metal bumper, and then you've got whatever bumper you want on your, on your cross truck. Okay, so, side cutters. Once I finish faffing with this, I'll... See, look, there's, there's a box... There's a box just there. It's behind me, but there's a box just there. I'll grab that and <laughs> I'll grab that and we'll open it up. What about impact? It's got concrete warranty, mate. Once it leaves the concrete out the front of my house, it's therefore not my issue. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can next time I take this truck in, I'll just go and drive it full head on into into bloody walls and rocks and shit and we'll just see if it breaks the bonus with printing your own stuff is if you break it you just print another one right I don't know if that's trimmed enough off but we'll see now of course when I when I jump back into the design later I can go okay oh jeez I cut this much off no I won't I'll just look at it and go yep I reckon this will be enough and then print one of print one of just these out try and tidy that up a smidge so it doesn't look like shy okay will that drop straight into there I might have to oh that little that'll sit in there it's a bit of a tight fit. Oh, okay, that bolt length stops it. So I've got to... Hmm, I've got to redo something. Let me get rid of these. We might not even need these. Out of sight, out of... Out of sight warranty. Exactly. Um, that's what my daughter with the one... 
Uh, that's what my daughter did with the one did. What? <laughs> All right, so that'll slide in there. I think I might need a smidge more off that side. Let me know if this is boring, and I'll just get that box. All right, I'm gonna take a bit more off there because that's still causing that not to cooperate. So I'll do the same on the other side. Trim it up with the knife. Don't cut your fingers off kitties. Be safe with knives. Pretty tough some of this plastic and the right the right design. She smashed it into a wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> I now understand you loud and clear, mate. Okay. Well, that should be strong enough anyway. What's stopping me? That bolt head. Okay, so what I'll do is I will move the bolt backwards. Or I guess you could bolt it from underneath. But I'll move the bolt backwards. Just to make a smidgen. Yeah, okay. Or I can make that one millimetre thinner. But I do like the idea of being a bit thicker. We've got options though. We can make that work. We can. I reckon. So it shouldn't be too hard and I can make that fit. But there you go, that's the that's where I'm getting so far anyway. I think for a bloke that's just started designing stuff, I'm not doing too bad. And with this one here too, I did actually lift the bumper up another millimetre. I'm just trying to make it so that most bumpers should sit pretty sweet with this mount. Right, well, sit that over there. Uh, make the motor one for a TF2. Nice. Ben, I smashed an SCX10 to a TRX4 adapter on a cooler. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm with you. I'm with you, I'm with you. Closed door warranty. Once the door closes behind you, the warranty runs out. <laughs> How many different warranties do you blokes have? But what do you think of that? Does that... I mean, I don't personally like this bumper choice, really, if I'm honest. But what do you think of... What do you think of that? I'll tell you what. Just for shits and giggles. Just for the lols. Or is that too much effort? Because I've got a lot of stuff plugged in here. I've got a... Oh, that can come out because that's um that's not connected now anyway. And then that okay. For the lols. Let's try my TRX4 bumper on it. Right. Now this TRX4 bumper is one of the year racing ones which has slightly adjustable holes in the front of the bumper. I'm expecting this to possibly look a touch too wide, but we'll try. Okay. You can just sit down there for now. Lovely. Yoink. Okay. Now, truth be told, I could probably use a bolt with a smaller head and make this other piece, wherever it is, this piece bolt straight on. Alright, undo this. But so far, I'm pretty happy. It's, it's now a mount that I can bolt straight to the truck. I can bolt a bumper straight to it. Um, just with your hard bodies, and this is why this piece is important, with your hard bodies there's a bolt that goes through your grill and into the factory piece there. So that's what I'm trying to replicate with those. Gives you more options for front bumpers that nobody else wants to make. Exactly. Exactly. Right, now I'll probably have to adjust these pegs. Yes, because the TRX4 one's different. I believe if we crack that and we crack this... Should just be able to. Oh, oh, look at the bumper on me, demon! Happy days! Move all this wire and shit out of my way. Whose idea was all this? That can just be tucked into the wheel well for now. Okay. Let me. Let me get those situated so that they're. The holes are facing upwards. 
okay this is the best way of doing these bumpers hold that in there lift that up Oop, come on stay 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 straighten this one up this way you know your bolts are going to go straight in come on you're going a bit further straight in and everything should line up and fit make perfectly all right so if we put that about yay about yay that should be a nice snug fit all right we'll drop our bolts in this is going to be a pretty epic bull bar on the front of the demon if it looks good i'm buying another one right the body mount is exactly what we needed what do you mean the body mount or do you mean the bumper mount it's just this takes it to the the demon to the next level of customization which is what it does need it's we all have to change the bumper on our trucks i mean i'll possibly design some bumpers i don't know we'll see i mean i know they're going to be 3d printed in plastic but again it's something different holy shit that's not bad <laughs> It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. What do you think of that? Excuse me, just ignore those wires. What do you think of that? That's that's doable. Uh, the bumper mounts with the bottom mount. Okay, sorry, Mike. I'm with you. Yes, it is. It's a must. It's something that you do need. I I don't mind that. That's very Australian. Shit, I'm going to have to order myself a new bumper. And look here, we've got the big ass air racing winch on there. Big fancy air racing bumper. I, I really quite like that. That is bloody lovely, Chris. Bloody oath, mate. It's nice when, when you do something and it just works. Look at that. Is that a, is that a beefy looking demon or what? Now I know there's going to be people out there go, oh, you just wrecked your approach angle. I don't care, mate. Look at it. Now she just needs some big ass mud flaps on the back, can What do you reckon? That there, that's a roo hunter every day of the week. Beast mode activated. That is awesome. I like that. I'm going to be, I'm going to be buying some bumpers. I think that body's got to sit down just a smidge more in the front there. But look at that. I really quite like that. What do you think of that? And I could, uh, if I didn't have the winch, I could actually slide that bumper back further. I believe. Yes, I could. Another, possibly two spots. Which, even looking at how that sits now, <clears throat> get you to look at the close-up little screen there. That's a nice little tuck around the around the hood there, around the bonnet. I love that. That's brilliant. I can't pinch this bumper though, because I've got to, I've got to put it back on the other truck. <laughs> Here you go, TRX four. But I'm, I'm thinking I might have to buy another one of those bumpers. I love that. That's awesome. God, it's nice when things work. All right, one last quick test. And then, then I'll grab the box. <clears throat> so I'll whip these out. I could also use a grub screw on these too, possibly. Right, whip that out. Whip this out. I'm going to see if I can screw them out. Now, I can't test them out properly unless I... You do it on my um, one of my hard body trucks, but right. Quickly, going to take this off the truck, so at least you guys can see now. This this works pretty well. That cross bumper would look nice on the TRX4. <laughs> How ripped off with my poor TRX4 feel? I think it's fair to say that TRX4 has got a pretty good. I love the look of that truck with that bumper on it, though. God. 
It just screams beefcake. Right. Quickly undo this. And then I'm going to bolt this to it. And then I'm going to see if I can get the bolts in behind it. I could also move those holes back a little bit, which would be the easier solution, actually. The bolt holes where the... Um, where the pins are, I could move those back a smidge. So that's probably the easiest solution and probably what I'll go for because the easiest solution sometimes is the best. All right. I'm bloody excited about this. So nice when shit works. Okay, we're just gonna drive a couple of screws home in there. Bolts, rather. Hold that there. All right, we'll drive this home, and then we'll mount it back in the truck. I'm thinking of now having a uh, DMG build me a pair of steel bumpers for my PG4L. Well, the PG4 is next on my hit list, but no, I don't think any companies make a bumper wide enough for the PG4. <laughs> That's a wide truck. Not even close. That's about at least an inch and a half too skinny for the PG4. The PG4 is a, a bertha. I, I like the PG4 factory. That's just me. It's just, it's got its own beefcake look and it, that's why I love it. It's just a beefcake. So what's everyone else working on doing or whatever while we're, while we're streaming here? Right. Now... So we'll slide back in here and then we'll put our bolts back in and our two longer ones towards the back now what I'll do if I'm, if I'm making and selling these I will make it so that I hold my mouth right when I go to do a bolt up I'll make it so that all the bolts are the same length and everything just works what's stopping me there ok there we go oh, that'll work that will work. Get her started. Lovely. Your front one, a shorter one. Lovely. Mike, just watching you. Tim Wolf, working on his page here. <laughs> Alright, now I want to see what's in the box. Not too long. Not long and we'll look at what's in the box. I was feeling really tired, but the fact that this bumper's working, oh, so happy. It's waking me up a bit. And saying that, I'm about to have a swig of my coffee. Okay, the other side real quick like. Come on, cup of coffee and a HSP diff rebuild from a carbon fibre chassis build. Nice. Don't mind a rebuild on some things sometimes. Down it's cooling off from 90 degree weather. What am I doing? Where am I lined up? There we go. Okay, dokes. Now, something I do have to do with this mount is I have to slightly, I've got to get the, the crap out of the little holes so that it'll actually cooperate. This is why you loosen them off. Get them started and then do them both up. That way everything lines up. Uh, how does that spool holder work? Does it shake? It's just ever so slowly turns over, mate. Basically. It's just like putting putting a round a round peg through the spool to hold it there. It's that simple. Alright. So let me put the little switch here back on. I may have to move that power switch. I'm gonna move it because that's just gonna be a pain in the ass. That can just sit among these cables for now. That's fine. Okay, dokes. I'm quickly going to open up this hole so I can put a bolt in it. Because, of course, when you print this stuff and it's flat on the ground, well, it fills in the hole. I'll find a couple of bolts just so I know I've got some here ready. That one there will do. Just make sure that will go. Or is that too small? Ooh, that's stripped. In the bin with you. 
Uh, I must have some here somewhere. What are you? You're oh, that's a bit short. Now I purposely made this bracket a bit thicker so that you can replace your factory bolts with slightly longer ones. But of course, as soon as I say that, I can't find any blood of the long ones. We use my half a try. I know I've got some shorter ones here. They might just have to do for now. Uh, not that try. That one will do. This is just for my own sake. I'm not actually bolting anything to it, of course. Didn't make the towel bubble. No. It's, it's pretty sturdy. Okay, take. So that's good. There we go straight into there. I just want to make sure I've got a good idea of how tight this is going to go. Oh, plenty tight enough. Awesome. That's good. So now I know that you can just whack a bolt in there straight away. And you'll be able to tighten up on your grill and have a good tighten on it. Run this one in and out, just so it's ready to roll. And this mount's all bar, all bar good, I think. I'm just, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to move those holes. Nice and tight, lovely. All right. So with a bumper in. Actually, no, the test is with the body on. Will that just drop down in there? Well, I'll be back it. It's almost like I designed it to work. Works. I may even step that back slightly, but I think that should be pretty sweet. Yeah, someone's bloody dropped. A six up. Bob's dropped a six. Lovely, Bob. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. So your coffee for Bob and myself. So that, that seems to work. The only thing I need to adjust is move those holes back and take the extra legs off this piece. But there you go. SCX10 mount for your demon, which will suit the hard body as well. And rest assured, I will I will check and check again 50 times to make sure these are perfect before I sell any. The bonus I guess of having so many so many trucks here. I've dropped a I've dropped a bolt. It's fine. It's one of the little sealed ones. I've got thousands of them. So that's gonna work well I think. Let's just slide this in here because it looks awesome. Sit there, why? Just sit there somewhere. Oh. Beast mode. God, that looks good. I think that will actually look better with the round headlight grills because I think they're the light section isn't as wide. That is really good. Right. The moment you've all been waiting for. Let's move some stuff out the way. Check that bad boy out, would you? Pretty pumped with my little UHFs. A little bit of black wire. How tough are the Demon transmissions? Thinking about getting an SP4. Depends how you drive. Um, and I'll say this because there are people out there that go, oh, the Demons are shit. But they drive like clowns and they break stuff and then they, they just blame the gear. If you drive your truck properly, how I crawl like it's meant to be driven, they're fine. I've got four of them, I've not broken anything. I've been pretty hard on mine too, if I'm honest. I've not broken anything. If you go ploughing through muddy, dirty water, you need to be aware that there's every chance a little a, a bit of dirt, rock, or something like that can come up, pass through your motor, into the transmission, some, you know, there's all these sorts of things, and that can break shit. And it'll happen with anything. Right. I might need the knife. Quick socials check. Let me just get rid of these notifications. Yoink, yoink. Uh, yoink. Yoink. Okie dokes. So, as you guys know, 
I I got rid of the six by six. Can't say who to because he wants to um, he wants to show it off himself, I believe. Anyway, got rid of the six by six. And this is what I got for it. Okay. Now the, the guy that got the six by six is a member of BCRC, which is awesome. Pumped about that. Right. Now I've been told I must cut this down the middle because this man is very clever and has cleverly put two boxes together <laughs> to cover the, the actual box. So, as carefully as I may, I'm going to, real doctor-like, cut around here so we can separate, separate the boxes. Uh, ben, I'm hard on my truck, and I'll admit it's 3S and 4S only. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Mike, I've had no problems with mine, and I drive like a clown every now and then. I own three. So, it all comes down to, if you if you get bound up somewhere in a heap of rocks, don't floor it, okay? There's so many people that'll go, she's right, mate. When in doubt, throw it all out. That's the dumbest saying in the history of in the history of crawling because that's what costs you a fortune okay uh, the gears may look small because they are <laughs> okay the gears are small but because there's so many gears it means less load on each gear if that makes sense Okay, let me just slide the end of the box off here. Stay. There you go. Check it out. <laughs> All right. Let me just sit down here and take the top half of the box off. How much do you guys hate me? All right. Pretty cool, man. Oh, do you want to see it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a snap-on Bronco. Now, for those that don't know, the snap-on Traxxas vehicles are reasonably hard to uh, reasonably hard to come by. Could you see the orange? Could you? Damn it! I was trying to be all clever and shit. Snap-on Bronco. So, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, and yes, I'm going to drive it. I'm going to use it. These will be coming off. It will be lowered to normal height, and it will get some fancy wheels and some Samex titanium links. But I will drive it like this. I will take it out, and I'll film it, and I'll drive it. It's an RC truck. It's going to be driven. I will keep the box, and I will look after the truck, I just thought, I mean, I've always wanted the, the TRX4 Bronco, but hello Robert, how long have you, oh, excuse me, how long have you been here? Sheesh. Um, I love the Bronco ever since they released it, and as soon as they released the Bronco, I was, I was like, oh shit, I wish I never brought the Defender now, because I would have brought this, had I known it was coming out. So I'm, I'm pumped, I'm a Ford boy at heart, and I love, I love these trucks, they're, they're epic. Whether it's an RC one or a real one, love them. So... Pretty pumped to have this. I, I thank the guy I got the truck from, who is watching. I know he's watching, but I can't because stuff and things. So we're going to unbox this. The rare Snap-on Bronco. What a machine. All right, let's have a look at some of the features of the these boxes are a bit all over the shop, aren't they? Okay. All right, so we've got the normal remote lock, the normal remote lock stuff, and all, all the standard TRS4 stuff there, obviously. 
over an inch of additional clearance. <laughs> Does that mean I'm going to fall over everywhere? <laughs> uh, a couple of minutes in the background, you sneaky man, Robert. Channels, I didn't even know that. Uh, they did a limited edition snap on. Yep. Yep. I mean, it looks cool. The shocks look awesome. The links look nice. The wheels even look nice. But they're 2.2s. I bought the regular Ford Bronco body. It's nice, man. It's like. I've not seen one of these in person. So I'm pumped. I can't wait to open it up and have a proper good look at it. I've I've looked at them and I've gone, oh god, they're expensive. Because they are expensive to buy. Just the bodies. <clears throat> um, get rid of that lift kit. I reckon I'm going to drop it down. Standard height. Some nice wheels. Nice tyres. Just... It's a shame. Are they, they're not actual beadlocks, are they? Nah, that's a shame. Because if they were actual beadlocks... Just for the lols, I could have put those on it. Eh? Wouldn't Tony love me then? I've got to find something to use those on. Anyway. Um, comes with a light kit installed, which is awesome. I like that. I'm really quite pleased with that. Special edition sport 2.2 wheels with Canyon Trail tyres. And then all the all the standard tracks as a fair for the for the TRX4. Alright. Where's this? I don't know which way is up and down now with this box. I'm just going to open this end and hope nothing bites me. Oh, there's a bit of tape there. Alright. Ooh, baby. It's on its side. What have we got there? We've got the Traxxas Aluminum Servo Horn. I'm not sure if that comes with it, or if the dude I got the truck off dropped that in there for me. And if, if that's the case, thank you very much, dude. Much appreciated. 100 US dollars for a pre-painted body. My God. So, I mean, it's expensive body. But, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous, but it's expensive. Thank you, Dave. So, we've got that. We have... We have some tools. It's always nice to have more tools. Generally, with these sorts of things, I'll throw them straight in my backpack. I've got like 10 different RC toolkits in my backpack, and it's just so that when I'm on the trail, should I need something, generally speaking, I've got it with me. So we've got some tools. We've got an instruction manual, which I'm not going to worry about pulling out because it's an instruction manual. And we've got some Traxxas decals. Traxxas, do some work on your decal sheets. Just put in your name. It's not good enough anymore. It's just not. If you've got a crawler, Give us some crawlery decals. Channels, I'm not, uh, not hating, but I'm not a massive RTR fan. I prefer to build. Look, I, I get it, man. I get it. I've got kit trucks here everywhere. Sometimes it's nice to have an RTR. Okay? When when A-Main sent me that little Bronco um, as a thank you for building them the race truck, they were shocked that I picked an RTR. And I was like, dude, sometimes it's nice just to drive it. <laughs> like... When when I got that Bronco, just before that, I'd built the Mazda, the little Honda, um, the GC4, I think the Demon. There was like, in a short period, I built six or eight vehicles. It's like, you know what, I just want to throw a battery in one and drive it. So, sometimes it's nice to go down the RTR road. If you know you're going to strip it and reboot. No, that's the thing, I won't. I, I've got my fully pimped TRX4, which at some stage I'm probably going to sell anyway. This truck's going to be pretty well just... Just drive it and enjoy it. Just, I love the look of these things. I'm not going to go silly with it. I'm just going to enjoy it for what it is, I think. Like, I know I'm going to put some normal shocks on it and bring it down and some Samex links just because the links are different. The Samex beast. Yeah, at some stage, pretty soon, I reckon, I'm going to sell that truck. Because it's just... My back can't pick it up anymore. It's heavy. It's so... Anyway, um, I'm just going to drive it like a like an old man Woody's old Bronco, and you like snap-on tools, right? What's this? Oh, this is the this is the charger. I've 
I've never had one of these before. <laughs> Traxxas Easy Peak Charger. Up to 4 amps? Or is it 5 amps? 4 amps. Four. Lipo, nickel metal. There you go. That's our that's our charger. Uh, Harley up, Mr. Start. What you got there, Sonny? We got the, the limited edition Snap on TRX4 Bronco. Awesome stuff, man. I drag my last question on the Traxxas TRX4 Sport RTR. Will it drive him water that's about 14 inches deep? Will it still run? Technically speaking, it should, and it should keep driving, but, technically speaking, at the same time, you're not supposed to submarine these trucks, <laughs> okay? Um, you can have waterproof electronics, brushed motor, it's fine, doesn't matter, you can just plow it straight through water. Generally speaking, waterproof servo, they're pretty good, you just plow them straight through water. The receiver is usually the, the killer, or the ESC, even waterproof ESCs or um, receivers are usually the ones that give up before anything else. A lot of the time, your receiver will just have a spaz, and you just put your truck in your car, upside down, or, you know, not always in your car, but, like, if you get home from wheeling, and your truck had a bit of a brain fart, flip it upside down, leave it overnight, so all the water can run outwards. Um, I've done it with a few of my trucks in the past, ploughed them into water that was just, just sort of deep, and you get out the other side, and the truck goes, I don't like that. <laughs> So you leave it overnight, upside down, and generally the water runs out, everything dries out, and away you go. But get get cheap electrics. I mean, the 1080 waterproof is cheap. The Air Racing waterproof servos, they're cheap. The um, what have we covered? The the the, the ESC for the 1080 uh, water receivers. Um. Most of my receivers have been pretty good, even the ones that aren't waterproof. But the GT5, you can get waterproof receivers for those. Thank you for the good answer. I don't think I'll try in this pond. Uh, look, as long as you're willing to pay the money to replace the electrics, plow it in, dude. <laughs> RGT receivers. No, GT5 receivers. Um, Flyscott GT5 radio. Um, Robert Gollum may be able to help me with the answer. I think it's the BS6, I think is... The BS6 receiver's waterproof, I think. I balloon my receiver's best way to waterproof. Well, then that's options too. You can always open up your receiver, um, plaster dip it, all those sorts of things. I mean, there's YouTube videos everywhere on how to do that stuff. So there's options, dude. If you really want to plow it, the most important thing, if you really want to plow your truck through water, okay, and I hope you guys all write this down, is to set up your camera, okay, in a nice scale position, right? Don't set it up up here, a mile away. Screw that. You've got to set it up so it looks as real as possible, okay? And then you've got to make sure that your mobile's turned on to slow motion, okay? And then you've got to capture that, because even if you wreck your truck doing it, you want that shot, all right? I've done it. I've done it many times. <laughs> you want to you plough into the water, heading towards your camera so you see all the waves flying up. As long as you get it in slow motion, doesn't matter if you wreck your electronics, it was worth it. Uh, Hobby King has a waterproof servo for the GT5. Okay. So you've got to get that shot. You've got to make it worth it. All right. What have we got here? Uh, we've, got a, we've got some spare bumpers. Uh, this truck has been driven before. It's not a brand new in the box truck. It's been driven. Oh, excuse me. A bit like calling that. Yes. There is a video way back on my YouTube somewhere of, you don't see the full thunderstorm, but Harley, myself, and a few others all went out wheeling, and it was a beautiful sunshiny day when we started. The half an hour in, thunderstorm, lightning, pissing down with rain, the whole deal. We stayed out, and we kept going for as long as we could. <laughs> Good fun. So we've got, some, we've got some spare bumpers there. Um, they do have some decals on it. I was told about that, which is fine. Led Zeppelin, AC, DC, Metallica, Oklahoma. It's nice to have spares though. We've also got some spare mirrors, it looks like. Lovely. That'll be handy in case I break some mirrors off the truck. Nice. It's nice when people throw in those little extra bits. Look at this, 
Now you guys will know. <laughs> you guys will laugh at this. Uh, what was I doing? I was putting a hole in something with a knife. And you guys like, get a bloody body reamer. <laughs> I know you're watching, you bastard. Thanks, mate. I do appreciate that. Because they're one of those things I, I look at and go, I should get one of those. And I just sort of go, I'll get one next time. And forget about it. So, my good mate's thrown in a body reamer and some... The Lexan scissors I love. Because I go through those terribly. I... I get Lexan scissors and go, oh, they're nice and sharp. I'll cut everything with them. I won't cut everything with these. I'll take care of them. Smart ass. Thank you very much for that, dude. Surely that's it. What's that? That's the... That's the controller. I'll get the, I think we're some, let's get the truck out. There's a body pin there. Oh baby. More pack and shot. Right. Well for those that don't know it, Traxxas receiver. Um, I will be changing the receiver in the truck to a um, uh, I don't, I don't think I'll run it on my GT5. I'll run it on my twin stick Spectrum. Um, because you just you have more options with how you want to change the, the lockers and such. These are a three position switch. I believe it's rear unlocked. What is it? All, all locked. Rear unlocked. Front locked. And then all the other way. All unlocked. Whereas with the, the DX6... I can just pick and choose whichever diff I want on switches, lock them how I please. So that will be an awesome backup though. My original radio, my TRX4, my the Defender, shit itself real quick. Bloody thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, we have the contents of the box out of the box. If you'd like ground clearance, <laughs> right. <clears throat> For those of you playing at home, there's a demon, which has got lots of ground clearance. Okay, demons have lots of ground clearance. That is massively tall. My God. There's like three states of clearance underneath this truck. I like the sliders, they're nice. They're different to the normal Defender ones, I believe. They might not be. Might it? Yeah, I'm sure they are. God, that body. Look at it. Chrome wipers on there. You can see the light kit in there. It's nice. You'll have to excuse me. I'm taking this in too. So that's an awesome body. That is, that is a bloody nice body. What a what a mammoth truck. <laughs> I will definitely be lowering this truck. Okay, for those of you playing at home. Chain body posts instead of magnetic hinge. Yeah, but you could fit a small car under it. Just about. You can just see the bonnet poking out underneath there. You can just about fit a small car under this Bronco. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to check I want to check and see stay little car I want to check and see if the shocks or anything wound right up because it looks very high is it just me or does this truck look really high okay so that light kit just plugs oh it's a proper that's a full blown legit Traxxas light kit in there 
which one plugs straight into this dealy. And now I don't know which plug it goes into. I assume it doesn't matter which one. I hope it doesn't matter which one. I will figure that out. Oh, that's a nice body. For any other companies out there that are making bodies, this is how you do it. Okay? That's that's how you make a body. That's gorgeous. Oh. Well, she's basically brand new under here. That's, that's clean. The shocks are wound up a little bit, but there's a lot of adjustment left. Give you a look in here. Let me let me close up cam this bad boy. Let me move the let me move the poor tiny little demon out of the way. Feel bad for it now. All right. So, God, those tires are huge. Where's Tony Gutierrez? So there's our there's our fancy limited edition wheels with the with the snap-on edition truck. I mean, they look nice. They'd be nice if I one point nines and they wasn't checked anyway. There's our fancy Traxxas shocks. Which you can see, they're not wound all the way. They're not wound all the way down or anything. There's heaps of wind down left. And then we've got our pretty red links everywhere. Which I don't know if they're just the standard, standard style links that have been coated, powder coated. I reckon. If I had to guess, I would say that's probably the case. I would say. Now these links, as far as I'm aware, are longer than the factory ones, so for me to get this back down to normal height, I'm going to have to change these out. So I've already had a work with Samix and said, I'm going to need some Bronco links, mate. You making Bronco links? He's like, yeah, I make them. Wicked. That's all I need to know. So I'm going to get some of the Samix titanium links and smash under there. My God, that truck's it's high. Let me wind these all the way up. Red, white and blue oval. Love the look of those chassis. It's a nice chassis. Traxxas did a bloody good job for their first their first crawler. The Texas lift kit. Uh, the Texas lift kit. <laughs> That's longer shocks and links. I wonder if I could get these full blown droop would it sit down enough? Probably not. You can send me that one. Can I? Um, I'm thinking too, fellas. Uh, we may do, we may open up a little too far. Went too far, didn't I? There we go. Um, we may open up the PG4 numbers this weekend. So let me know if you're keen to open up PG4 numbers and we will get that, that giveaway started. It's got to be said, the underneath the body looks brand new. Which is awesome. I mean, when when I worked out the trade um, with with the member that chooses to remain mainstream, chooses to remain anonymous until he is going to, you know, bring it out. Anyway, um, he said, "Look, it's been used before." Um, he said, "It's not bad, Nick." And honestly, I didn't care. It was just like, "Yep, yeah, look, I'm I'm happy, dude." Like. He he loved the six by six, and that was probably the most important thing. I mean, I've always wanted the the Ford. It wouldn't have phased me if it was a normal one or or this. It just this worked out, so it was like cool. Let's do that. God, it sits high. <laughs> I can't get over the clearance. Where's my ruler? There's 90 mil clearance under the middle of that truck. Zachary's with us. Hello, Zachary. It's Lance. Hello, Lance. Just wondering what 3D printer is worth to buy. That one cost me 339 Australian dollars, and so far it's been pretty bloody brilliant. I've only had a couple of little cock-ups, um, and that was probably a lot to do with me than just the printer itself. Um, when it's feeding... Don't, don't reel this over a bit to give it a bit of slack because I think that, that causes it to go, no, don't do that. Just let it take it as it needs it. Um, 
the little clips you get you get those little clips to hold the um, the little tray down here don't put one in the front left corner put one in the middle one in the right corner if you put one in the front left corner it's going to whack stuff trust me but awesome printer for the money awesome printer for the money so there she is eh so the next YouTube video is going to be this beast. Now something, I'll check out the, check out the big chrome diff cover. They've gone full Texan. <laughs> um, he also put a little nudge bar on there for me too. Bloody good on him. What a good bloke. I will swap those bumpers out because I can see. I can, whoever, whoever had this truck, because I know the guy I got it off didn't ever drive it. He just bought it because. We've all done it. Um, the guy he got it off obviously has driven it but I mean the bumpers have got some scratches which is fine you expect that but as far as the rest of the truck goes it looks bloody new even underneath there's like a couple little scuffs on the links there's barely a touch at all on the diffs which is brilliant Someone's knocked on the door. I'll be back. Could be a parcel. How good's that button? Huh? Any other time, I would have sat here like a professional and I would have streamed and I would have missed the package. This package, alright, to make sure so you can't see exactly what it says, this is going to be featured in a stream very soon. Can't tell you what it is though. Driven indoor only. Well, I'd say, look, it's, it's been in the rocks. There's no doubt. I mean, the, the marks and such on the bumper are, are a pretty good indication of that. They've peeled the chrome off pretty well, but... You, you can't fault it, honestly. <laughs> you got to get those packages, man. That's why I made that Be Right Back button. So I could get up, get the package. I'm actually lucky, because normally, when the posties turn up, they don't knock anymore. I just leave a card saying, oh, you missed your delivery. Go and pick it up at the post office. Neil's joined us and says, Australia. Australia, Neil. Check this thing out, Neil. This is right up your alley, mate. I need to suss out which plug that goes in. There's only one plug, which surprises me, I guess. Maybe it doesn't matter which one it goes in. But anyway... We'll worry about that later. What a beast. Love it. Love it. Where's my fancy cloth? I'm going to give her a wipe off. Let's get the dust off her. See how clean she comes up. What a bloody beast of a truck, eh? Tr tr trucks like this change the world. I'll have to get some body cleaner. What's happening today? Unbox this bad boy. Check that out. <laughs> the, the beast of beasts. The Snap-on Limited Edition TRX4 Bronco. And it is jacked up. Maybe that's what I'll call it until I de-jack it. Slip in there. Slip in there. Nice snug fit with all the bumpers, which is good. It has been pretty well looked after, though, I've got to say that. It's what I might possibly do, because I don't want to wreck the factory snap on body, so I may even buy another Bronco body. 
just to keep the factory snap on the factory snap on body in good nick. Uh, in America, they just leave your package out next to the street. Screw that, man. Screw that. And then what happens if someone pinches your package? Like, what can you do? What are the po what are the posties going to do? Oh, sorry. I'll, how much was it worth? I'll replace it for you. Don't think so. So, what happens there? If you could, if you could tell me, someone that lives in America, if if you've got a package that's been left on your door and someone pinches it, what happens? Oh, the TRX4 Sport doesn't come with in offenders. No, it's because they were that was their cheap of the cheap models. Try and make it more budget minded and. You know, for beginners or people that just get into the hobby and that sort of thing. So they, they took off as much as they could and kept it as nice as they could. If that makes sense. You are pretty much screwed. Well, that's that's shit. <laughs> oh, love that! What a body. It's nice when, it's nice when you can look at a truck, I mean, even with those gaudy big wheels and tyres on it. It's nice when you can look at a truck and go, God, that's pretty. You know, you just take it in like, red cap for your next truck, this is how you do tail lights, okay? Get a load of those. They are gorgeous. Have a look at the bloody, the McDetail there, that's how you do tail lights. Let's go, I'm going to close up cam that bad boy, look at that. Okay. Uh, RC Adventures looks clean. For a second hand truck, it's what you would call very clean. Um, even more so underneath. Underneath, it's like brand new. I'm just going to be a big kid and stare at this all day now. Underneath this truck, it, it's like brand new, man. Which is quite impressive. That tracks us plug will go bye bye, though. <laughs> But, very impressed, very happy. Mainstream. I mean, it's all lax in there. There's no parts for the front lights or the rear. Yeah, I think, I think there's um, some people out there that possibly make a 3D printable grill for that body. Possibly. So we've got the factory servo. Yep. Yeah. I have to smash a year racing a servo in there. I wonder if they beefed up the servo in this truck. Because there's some big ass wheels and tyres that the factory servo is trying to turn. Does anyone know if they did? Uh, Alright, he's off for lunch. Laters, no worries dude. Thanks for dropping by, very much appreciated. What a truck. What do you think of this? If you didn't say it was second hand, you wouldn't know. Look, If you look at the bumpers, the bumpers have got some marks and such on them. Right, which is fine. I knew it was second hand when I got it. The the bumpers are the only giveaway when you're looking at the chassis that's been used. The body's got some scratches and marks on it, but I mean you get that. But I mean it's still in bloody good condition. That's why I think. I mean, I I generally baby my trucks when I when I'm really attached to the body and such. And this being a limited edition truck, well this will be this will be babied pretty well too, but. Very impressed. Uh, same as a standard Bronco, they have upgrades, but still not good. Yeah, but I, was, I wasn't sure if I changed the servo was all. Because that's... What's that? That's the 2075X Metal Gear. God, I can't even remember what was in my line. I wasn't sure if they maybe beefed it up because of the size of the wheels and tyres that are on it, but... What a nice truck. What a nice truck. So, thank you, my friend, who is watching. I'm very, very happy, mate. I hope you're just as happy when that massive, big 6x6 <laughs> six six turns up chest. <laughs> the box was that big. The lady at the post office said to me, I don't think I can send that big box overseas. <laughs> I said... Why not? I receive big boxes like that from overseas all the time. Oh, okay. 
<clears throat> box is pretty big. Either way, it looks awesome. It does. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool bit of kit, that's for sure. I mean, it's good too because I mean, I can, I can see revisions and stuff that Traxxas have done between the Defender and this. It is, it's pretty light. Though. I'll give you the tip compared to the Defender, very light. I still have the stock servo in my Bronco. Have been hard on it. Still no troubles. Bloody eyes. They must have upped the game then between the Defender one and the Bronco because the Defender servos were pretty shit. I'll change mine out real quick. Oh, I'll, I'll do the same as I did with the um, with the cross truck. I'll take it out and drive it exactly how it is. I will change this plug though. I have to change that so I can use my batteries. Um, but I'll take it out and drive it exactly how it's meant to be driven. Of course, I'll film it. Um, and we'll see how she goes. I'm excited to drive it. I know that the Traxxas tyres weren't terrible. They were just... The foams were shit. And if you went through water, the foams just turned to mush. I do know that much. So I can see that it's... I would say it's never been ploughed through... Through any horrible water or anything. And yet again, Traxxas shocks, brilliant. Traxxas shocks are really nice. What a nice truck. I just need to figure out which plug that light plug goes into. Right, what's the trick with the body? Back first? Yep. Back first, then front. I don't know if those... Are those bumpers adjustable on these? Can they be pulled out a notch? Yeah, nice truck. I, I think it's bloody brilliant. I really quite like that. What a beefcake of a thing. I'm, try I'm trying to push it down to the normal ride height. <laughs> that is a beefcake. I will I will definitely be going places. I probably haven't for quite some time with this thing because I could drive over my car with this. Here's something I don't get. Now, I don't know. If you can tell me... I know some of you guys have got the Broncos and such. If you, can you move these bumpers in and out? I haven't really looked. You can. Okay, good. Right, so I'm going to move the bumpers out of smidge because the tyre's rubbing. Now, it's one of my biggest pet peeves with trucks. Tyre grabs the bumper. I can just move this out, which is good. And so it doesn't want to sit properly because the body keeps touching the bumper. Click on to these things. I know it's nice to have a tucked bumper, but there's got to be a point where you say, I've got to stop pushing the bumper in so far because I'm noticing too looking at the back, you can feel the tension on the bumper from the body pushing out on it. That's alright, two minute fix. We'll change that. What a wicked truck. I wonder if I can make an interior for it. <laughs> Tyres won't rub when you put 1.9s. Damn straight, mate. Bloody eyes. And I'm thinking, because, because this is what we do here, I think you know what I'm going to put on it. What do you reckon? Smash a set of those on it? The other two are in the mail. When I first ordered these wheels, the D, um, DJX said to me, we've only got two. I'm like, oh, shit. Send them to me anyway, because I want to show you guys what they look like. Anyway, I'm, my other two are on their way. So, I think she's going to get those. Now, I know a lot of people will probably go, that's just the same like the original wheel says of Dennis saying. But it's not. They're, they're, I think they're a fair bit nicer than the factory plastic wheels. And... To be fair, it's got to be said, the Bronco wheels that came out on the TRX4, as far as factory wheels go, they're Mickey Mouse. But she's going to get these bad boys. I've been saving these. That, and I've only got two of them, so I've, I've been waiting for the other ones to turn up. So, yeah. Beefcake. It's going to stay like this until I get the links and such. Um, 
and some shocks. I don't know if I've just put factory shocks in it or I might even shop around and put something else in it. But Looking forward to driving the Big Fatty. That's going to be our nickname. The Big Fatty. Got to have nicknames for your trucks. My God, that's big. For those that want a size comparison, for those that weren't here earlier, that's, that's the Demon. Oh dear. Look at that. What a presence. I mean, and this thing looks epic with this bumper on, which we changed. But, Jack of all charge, the red cap fail on the Gen 8 wheels. Ugh, aren't they disgusting? My Gen 8 wheels have been sitting up there since we got the truck. Speaking of Gen 8s, let's do a progress update for you. That's why we're at it. The stream's working. Everything's going good, so why not? Just move that. Slide over here and grab the stupid thing. Ugh. Look, I cleared all the windows. I can finally drive my truck again. Okay, all the windows are cleared. I've trimmed all the decals. Put the Gen 8 next to it. Alright. I've got to stop lifting up trucks. This isn't good for my back. <gasps> God, this is this proves a pretty good point. That's a jacked up truck on two by twos. That's factory, and it's, there's not much in it. Jesus, I wish these springs had stained the retainers. There's, there's not much in it, is there? Uh, it would make a... Here comes the New York small apartment. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's funny, like... I know I know scouts aren't small. I don't think they're, I don't think they're Bronco big, though. Not Bronco... Ugh, do you know what I mean? That, that body's too big. This doesn't look out of place. Because these are big trucks. This does look out of place. And it's funny, like, look at these two trucks next to each other. Tell me what you think when you look at this, and then you look at this. Tell me what you think. It's, it's hard to think of Dragon Model. I like them. I liked this before it came out. And then I got it. And zero emotional attachment. Which is the worst possible way to have a truck. Zero emotional attachment. I like bolting pieces to it. That's about it. Isn't that bad? That's terrible. And I'm not fanboying, okay? I'm not comparing it to a cross. I'm just saying... It's just... It's boring. I know if you've, if you've not had other trucks before, or this is the only truck you've got, you'll love it. Which is fine. And if people out there do love it, that's great. Good. I'm glad you do. I just, I really don't. And the more I see stuff like this, it's like, I know this is a bit of an exception. I won't know it. I'm not, and I'm not just talking because of the snap-on truck, but because, I mean, look at it. How can you compete with this? But like, Okay, let's put it this way. These are both licensed bodies. One of them doesn't look like a licensed body. The fenders, for those that don't know, the fenders on this truck are disgusting. Sorry, but they are. <clears throat> those fenders, I think, are a big part of the reason 
a big part of the reason this truck doesn't look as good as it should. It should have, like the Traxxas, proper curled arches. It's, you can't just bolt flares on and go, she's, she's fine, don't worry about it, mate. Especially when all these companies are stepping up their game. I, mean, I love the fact that they've they got proper light lenses and they've got light buckets everywhere. I mean, that's awesome. But I just look at this and I go, that could just be a generic truck. Do you know what I mean? I know the Scout was not the prettiest trucks out there. <laughs> I know this. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of trucks. I mean, you guys know this. I've got a lot of trucks. I've got a lot of different brands. We shouldn't have any companies these days releasing licensed bodies that don't hit the mark. If if I was an international and they brought me this, I'd say, what did you do this for? The, the grill just... It's not there. It should be. It's 2019, damn it. Uh, honestly, I didn't think it was a licensed body. I just thought it was a body. I'm sure. That, that is a licensed body, isn't it? I'm sure it is. I don't know what I've done with the box from my red, from my red cap. Scout. Yeah, it's licensed. That's why it's got international written on the box. It's licensed. Did international see it before it was released? I know, I know. There's going to be people out there that are going to say, oh, you're just shitting on the truck. I mean, it's not... It's not horrible, don't buy it. It's just not brilliant, don't buy it. No. <laughs> it's just not brilliant. Like... It's very lacklustre. Grill's okay and the hood is okay. I like the front window. I like... I like I like the decals. I do like the decals. They're actually really good quality decals. Once you start hacking these off, you realise how good a quality these decals are. I do like that. I don't know. Gotta go, mate. Have a great day. No worries, dude. It's not the truck that's a problem. It's the body. Yeah, the body. The body's a big problem with it. The, the whole overall thing, um, and the noisiness of the the running gear. If they quieten down, if they do, if they do a, a Gen Nine or a Gen Eight Point Two or Gen Eight, whatever, a version two, change the gears so that it's quieter. Ditch these stupid flares. I would imagine they'd change the body, but don't put stupid flares on it. Just make the Make the body fit the truck. And honestly, they could have done that. Put skinnier tyres on it. I'd love it with skinnier tyres. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's sad. You buy a truck and you have no emotional attachment to it. Charles has joined us. Hello, Charles. I'm just having some go-go juice. And I've been bitching about this truck. I like the wheels that are on. Aren't they gorgeous wheels? Check those bad boys out. Mm. There's no grease in a lot of those trucks. Yes, mine didn't have any either. Had the tiniest smidgen of grease. And by smidgen, it was like someone and just put it in the in the in the components. Uh, different price points. I get the different price points. I get that. I get that. Uh, if Recat released it at the same price point, I'm sure there would have been more R and D. Really though, because the R and D that they, the stuff that they missed on this truck, you can't. There's no price point excuse for a steering arm hitting the tyres. There's no price point excuse for that when you've got jokes under the receiver box. I'm going to compare the Gen 8 to the TRX or Bronco. See where Recat tried to play on the success of the Traxxas portals. Uh, Flounder with the scout body. Look, Traxxas has always been pretty good with bodies. There's no two ways about it. For the most part, Red Cat's used other companies' bodies that they've sold, which is fine. This is obviously their first fully designed truck, etc. 
we seen what the first Red Cat or the Gen 7 body was like. It was pretty ugly, but it was their own body. And some people out there made them look pretty good. The Pro definitely looked better. Um, I, I get the whole different price points, but th this is the thing, all right? Here's, here's my view with price points and this truck in particular. If, if the running gear was quieter, which if, even if that means changing the pitch of the gears, if the running gear was quieter, the steering arm didn't touch, I would have been 10 times happier with the truck. That simple. I mean, that's easy stuff. Well, 24 hours no sleep. That, me too, Bob. Um, Bob's off. No worries, mate. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Much appreciated. Again, thank you for your donation. Very much appreciated, dude. Um, Mike says a Gen 7 is a better... Uh, Gen 7 is a better rig in your opinion. Is, is it quieter? And I'm, it's just me, like... Okay, listen to that. And for anyone says price point, this is just gear mesh that makes the difference. Okay, do you hear the difference? This is a, this is a brand new truck. It's too loud. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound like quality. Like and that's I think. That, I think, is a part of the reason why I drive this truck. And it's like, I drive my cross trucks, I drive my Terex 4, I drive my Tamiya CC01, I drive whatever else, and they're quiet. And it, it might sound dumb to some people, but it makes them look like a more quality thing. And I don't worry about people looking at me like, God, what, what the hell is that thing? It's noisy. I mean, that's just me. This is just my opinions. Let's... Let's just remember, we're all entitled to those. It could have, it could have been a brilliant truck. It could have, especially for the money. I mean, they're on the right track. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm being pretty harsh, but you've got to be. They're on the right track. If they they do something with the shocks on the next truck, do something with the wheels and tires. Well, hell, keep the tyres, change the foams and the wheels. Because, I mean, they're just, the wheels are ugly and they've got s silly square-headed bolts that like to touch stuff. Um, do something with the wheels and tyres. Don't put fenders on it. Or if you do, put nice-looking fenders on it. The, what I don't like about these fenders is this weird shape here. It's just... It's weird. Why doesn't this curve down the same as this. Now they tried to square off the fender too much. This, this, this is the stuff I see. If this thing had, man, like, even like you look at it now, if this thing had proper old school round arches like these trucks have, just a round arch, how good would it look? Little things like that. And I mean, look, the, the tail lights, we've said this before, they're massive. Massive. On a real truck, It'd be like looking at a real truck with tail lights that are two inches bigger all the way around. It's just little things. It's just little things. And just to keep Robert happy, we'll clear windows, please, on the next one. <laughs> Robert likes himself some clear windows. I do too. I will admit, for those wondering, when you clear your windows, I used to use um, Tamiya, Tamiya Polycarbonate Body Cleaner. I used this the other day. For the first time, this shit removes paint quick, a lot quicker than the, the, Tamiya, the Tamiya polycarbonate body cleaner. But you dab some on, not on the outside. You dab some on, and then you just sit your body so that it, it can't run. Obviously, mask around your window first, kids. Sit your body for five minutes so it can't run, and then you come back and you grab like a coarse. I don't know what I've done with my rag. You grab a coarse rag, dab a bit more on your rag, just like that, and then go over it and go over it and go over it, and you just the paint just falls off. I did five windows last night in an hour and a half, which is, trust me, just quick. And I was doing 3D print stuff too, so. I want to like this truck. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. 
And you should love your trucks. These are these are expensive toys we have. We should love them. Stay. I like I say, that's it's just my opinion. We're all entitled to those. You know, you, you spend the money on these things. You you should like them. I, mean, I love this thing. Just looking at it. I know it's quality running gear and such because I've already got a TRX4. And technically, this should be better because it's it was released after mine was. So, I'm looking forward to driving it. Might have to hit up the Wish app and get some fancy, you can like chrome trim and all these extra bits and bobs. Uh, let me see. You know, we found the TRX4 says, Mike, I have a Bronco. It's a fun truck, but I'm just not my style. You need to get your style looked at, Mike. <clears throat> I, I like these these sorts of trucks just for that slow, lazy crawl. You know? You get that right slow motion shot with a nice bounce and that sort of thing. It's just the best thing ever. Uh... Dennis, that's why my Bronco will never leave a stable. So that's, and this is the best thing about the hobby. I know I've just sat there and taken the piss out of that Gen 8, right? But I've, I've kept it. I'm gonna, still going to drive it. I'm going to do what I can to make it as enjoyable as possible. Um, I know Trill has got more parts coming out for this truck. So I'll be bolting those on, because I'm loving my Trill parts. Bolt those on and make it as good as possible. Um, who knows? Maybe one day I'll go, shit, I already like this truck now. That's the hope. And this is the thing. It's like, I mean, you look at the chat. There's, we've got uh, Dennis here that loves his Bronco. Mike's a bit, meh. I sort of, I'm not here or there on it. I don't, you know, it's not brilliant or whatever else. But it's just, this, this is why options are good. You have to have options in the hobby. I'm starting to get tired. How long have we been streaming for? Hour and 34. Longer than I probably would have thought I would have. No sleep last night. Ah. So yes, that's that's how you unbox a TRX or Bronco. I love the body. Uh, just don't drive it like I like. Uh, just don't drive like I like to drive. The message retracted. <laughs> Try again, Mike. Um. Look, I, I can I can understand where you're coming from there too. Like, when when I first got my Defender, I mean, it was nice to drive, but it did this all the time and because the front was too light and it had all the shit on the top and whatever else. Once I started putting all the brass bits on it, it just transformed the truck. Um, Samex parts made that Defender tenfold the truck it was when I got it. It's so much nicer to drive and it's just it's smooth and it's realistic and just watching it drive even even driving it I know when I drive this it's going to feel cheap compared to the Defender it just is this this is why you put all these parts on your truck I guess love the body exactly what I was trying to say right cool <laughs> try to help out mate Dennis is all clocked out done with this 12 hour shift drive home carefully mate especially after a 12 hour shift so yes what do, you, what do you think of this? I'm pretty pumped to have a snap-on truck. I never ever thought I would have had one. Look at it. Let alone a Bronco. Two birds of one stone. A Bronco and a snap-on truck. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't that phased out the snap-on part, like I said, but... What a beast. What an awesome looking truck. I can't wait to lower it. <laughs> I can't wait to lower it and put on those pretty... Pretty chrome wheels. I'll sit here all afternoon now and dream about putting these on. Mm. Just works, you know? Alrighty. Well, I suppose, unless anyone's got any questions, etc. and so on, so I'll drop the... Give the stream a like. Okay. There's 16 people still here now watching, so I expect to see at least a 16 like. Okay. Uh, give it a share. Subscribe if you haven't. If you wish to donate, there's a link in the description below. All donations go towards helping with postage and prizes and all that sort of fun stuff. <coughs> um, 
and just making BCRC a bigger and better place, which I think I think we're getting there. Uh, Dennis, I still say Tractor's knocked it out of the park with a TRX4. Yep, for their first crawler. No one can bag Tractor's out for their first crawler. They just can't. I mean, I I bought the TRX4 and it was $750 here. And amazingly, now they cost more. Well, a normal Bronco here is like 800 to 850 dollars in some shops. Don't don't ask me why. I don't know. But anyway, I brought the Defender and I was like, I was really, it's like shit, man. I don't know if I want to spend this much money. My good mate Christian talked me into it, so I spent it. <laughs> you work hard, mate. You deserve it. And I was like, you know what? I do work hard, and I do. Here's my money. <laughs> Actually, when I wanted to buy that truck, I couldn't find one anywhere. I had to drive an hour and a half north to buy one. But anyway, what was I saying? I, I was a bit iffy about buying it too because it was their first crawler. And it's like, well, Axios released a thousand trucks. They know how to release a truck. Tamis released a thousand trucks. They know how to release a truck, etc. and so on. And it's like, ah, screw it. So I'm going to find out, and I was really surprised. It was a well thought out truck with good features. I know, like people saying, all oh, the servos are shit and all those sorts of things. Steering servos don't count because they're always shit. Actually, look, the Gen Eight one's pretty good. Um, the Cross one was pretty good too, actually. Um, what else was I saying? Tim Wolf, that snap on that snap on Bronco was going for around a thousand US dollars for a new one in box. I don't doubt that. Remember some of those old ice cream truck style? I mean, I know they were snap-on tool trucks, but the snap-on tool trucks that were like E-Revos or something, they were selling for stupid money. And then, and then you'd see that video of someone just out belting around. <laughs> Shit happens. It's an RC car. Let's go. <clears throat> um, I can't remember what I was talking about now. I'm getting too tired. Give her a like, give her a share, give her a subscribe if you haven't. It's very much appreciated. I want to try and hit 2,000 subscribers in the next three months. And I need your help to do it. I'm doing my best doing the streams. I'm doing my best with getting out filming. I need your help, guys. Help me get those likes, the, the subs, all these things. You're going to leave the sticker on the rear bumper. I assume you're talking about this one. I don't know, man. The rear bumper's pretty clean. It's only got a few little marks on it. I might have to remove the stickers and just put a BCRC one on it, just to be kosher. Do you know what I mean? And I've never been a Led Zeppelin fan. Metallica's okay. No, ACD says okay. That's a pretty scale little number plate, though. The Oklahoma one. My eyes are too tired to squeak this much. Alright. Well, that, boys and girls, is a fatty of a truck. So, thank you to my mate. Very much thank you to my mate that sent it over. I hope you enjoy the, the big 6x6. Let's see the stickers. Oh. Um, Dave's just joined us. Ugh. And we're about to shut up shop. Close up, Ken. So they're the decals that are on. So on this bumper, I'm, I'm glad my mate included this. And I'm saying my mate because he doesn't want to be known for now. Um, I'm glad he included this because it's heaps better nicking the one that's on there. And he included the, the front bumper too, which is pretty dang sweet. Now what I'll do is, is I'll change these over, I'll put these on the truck, and then the ones that are on the truck, I'll hang up on the um, the garage wall, so they, the scale bumpers hanging up on the shop wall. M uh, MX Pro, summer hair or winter haircut? Winter haircut. Um, unfortunately, Dave, we're about to shut up shop, mate. You've, you've missed all the fun stuff. I do suggest, though, you go back and watch, because you'll see us unbox this beast. The snap-on Bronco, and you'll see how I've managed to make this epic bumper 
this epic bumper fit on a cross truck. Ignore these. Check that out. I love that. That is awesome. I'm. I think I'm going to buy another one of these bumpers. So yeah, my bumper mount works. It's a real thing. So that's what I'm talking about. There's my new 3D printed bumper mount for the Demon. It allows you to fit an SCX10 style bumper to the front of your Demon. Where's the other one I had here? Is that it there? No. Nope. But anyway, it allows you to fit a normal bumper to the front of your Demon. Awesome stuff. Ball Gears joined us. <clears throat> so yes. Check that out. Once I fully refine this, I will be selling these. Might need one of those bumpers for my future demon. That's a nice bumper, man. That's a full year racing bumper. Year racing big ass winch. It's nice, man. Love them. Beefy. They do have, these come with little lights, LEDs in here, but I, in my laziness, one day just went, snip. I'll fix it later. <laughs> later never came because it's still snipped. But yeah, now with my new bumper mount, we can we can do stuff like this, stuff that wasn't possible previously. Ugh, clip on there. That's not straight. What have I done? There we go. We can do stuff like that that we couldn't do before. Oh, love it! So happy that worked. So that was pretty much today's stream. We unboxed the Snap-on TRX4. We checked out the uh, sorry, bull gear. I picked up my second Demon yesterday. Now I have the RTR and the SU4C. How how good of a truck is that SU4C? You probably haven't built it yet. I don't know. But dude. What a truck. Love it. Um, so stay, <coughs> stay tuned in BCRC because we're going to be... I'm going to be... Keeping you up to date with all the details on the on the bumper mount. How factory does that look? Don't you reckon that looks pretty damn factory? For some clown that just printed it up in his house? Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, stay tuned. Also, when I say about donations and stuff, these sorts of donations will go towards lowering the cost of BCRC scale accessories too. So... If some of this can go towards buying a roll of filament, that means I can drop the price on all the scale accessories because I want to do a scale accessory pack with tools, with um, the bumper mounts to be separate, with tools, with toolboxes, uh, cones. What else have I designed? There's other stuff. I know there's more stuff. The UHF radios. Where was my radio? There we go. Let me just see if we're going to hold this so you guys can see it. For those that haven't seen it, I've designed a 3D printed UHF or CB radio, I guess, for the for the American job there. Okay, so you got the little UHF radio with the hand receiver. All you got to do is paint it the colours you want, where you want, and add a little wire for the between the receiver and the radio itself. So I made those, and also made, I don't know what I did with the painted one, derpy derp, anyway, because um, this ain't going to show very well, number plate holders, BCRC number plate holders, made those too, so essentially paint across here, now I can do custom ones of these too, so if you've got like this here, you could have SR4A. Something like that. Or if you've got an SU4C, or if you've got a PG4L, or camo, you can have camo written across there. Stuff like that. Uh, mainstream. Um, so there's options to have customised number plate holders for your truck. I'm going to... And I'm designing all this stuff myself. So it's going to be a BCRC scale accessory package of accessories that I've designed, printed, and sent to your house. So, yeah. 
That's what I say. Donations are hand, handy and helpful. And Cage, I'm down for some scale accessories. Awesome. I'm surprised, actually. The support for what I've done already with the printer has been bloody phenomenal. Um, years and years and years ago, I'm talking early 2000s, I used to do a bit of CAD work. And I'm just getting back into it, teaching myself how to do all this stuff again. I mean, I'm, I'm probably surprised myself. I'm picking it up quicker than I expected, um, which is good. But yeah, it's it's really nice to have everyone go. Wow, you're smashing out of the park, and you're doing this and that and whatever else so quickly. And whatever, you know, it's really good. Come okay, on, I print my own number plates, same size as the Tammy of Sand Scorcher ones. I don't know what size they are, but anyway. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking at doing um, some more probably electrical tools. Um, there was a few other things that were mentioned. I was thinking too, this is one of my ideas, for a bumper like this, now I don't know if Americans do it, but, he's mine, here it is, okay, for a bumper like this, in Australia, we like to have fishing rod holders that mount to your, your bull bar, and you slide your fishing rod in, and then you, your fishing rod will sit up like this. Now I'll probably print my own fishing rods that are a bit longer, so it's a bit more scale. But I want to I want to do something like a rod holder for the bull bar. What do you think of that idea? If you if you sound stupid to you, Google it because it's what we do in Australia. You got a tin dish on top, fishing rods up here, everything. High lift jacks. I'm not going to do high lift jacks because they're just done to death, honestly. I mean, you can buy them for a dollar. Um, gun racks. I could look at doing some gun racks. Just some... I, I guess the easiest way to do a gun rack would be... Um, make it so you've got two pieces. You can put them... Um, you can put them as far apart as you like and just clip your guns in. could work on something like that. It's just... It's a matter of trying to figure out how to print stuff so that it's going to work how you want it to work that's that's the biggest thing with 3d printing i've found so far uh i'm not lying put the rod on the front like that and see how it looks too it's awesome man that's what we do here in australia a bit of rod holder so that's one of my next projects i'm gonna because my caliper's battery's flat i'll either get a battery or break out the ruler again do my measurements, okay. That there is a six mil. That's how I made the, the, the mount. They do rod hold a thing here in Florida Coast. Awesome. So if I do one, well, that's good. Uh, Thingiverse has high lifts if you've got mate with a printer. Easy. I like the idea of Thingiverse, but I think I like the idea more of trying to do this stuff myself. Do you know what I mean? Fishing rod holder is a good idea. Obviously, there's only certain bumpers and shit it's going to work with, but what I'm thinking is I'll have a little clamp system. So you, you're going to have to bolt it unless you glue it. 12 gauge in the, in the back glass ready to go. You never know. <laughs> um, well, I should be able to do gun holders easy enough. The fishing rod holder I'll do probably tonight. Um, but... The more I'm doing and the support you guys have given me and BCRC and such, whether it be, you know, the the, the praise on this stuff, the following the, the videos, the sharing them, the donations, anything, it's, it's it's what's pushing me to do more and more and more. So I really do appreciate it. Um, you can draw very easy in Thinkercad. It's, I think, isn't it Tinkercad? That's what I've been using to design my stuff. It's... Tinkercad's very limited, um, but for what it is, you can do some you can do some pretty clever stuff. But it is pretty limited. Put your design on shapeways, you can have them mass produced, but shapeways is very expensive, from what I've seen. And this is my big thing: I don't want to make stuff and then have you guys go, "Oh, I want that," and then go on shapeways and go, "Holy shit, you see how expensive it is?" I don't want stuff, especially if it's from me, to you guys to be expensive. You know, you guys are supporting what I'm trying to do here with the with the community and with the mob, whatever you want to call it. 
you know, you guys are supporting me, so I want to try and make stuff as cheap as possible. So that's why I keep pushing companies for competitions. I keep pushing companies for discounts and whatever else. Um, yeah, yeah, racing make that pack dragon model. Um, I've got the lamp on my Defender. And I've got the pack of cards in my camel truck. <laughs> I think it may have, may have come with a mobile phone or a tablet or something as well. It's like a camping set. Come on, I've done a shovel, pickaxe, an axe of my own, Humvee bumpers, number plates and Max Trax holders. Okay, nice. You're able to print a body. Possibly, but honestly, it's just not worth me bugging around with it. For me to... For me to print a full body, I'd rather have another printer sitting somewhere that I could do that, because it takes a long time to print shit. I designed a traffic cone the other day. Now, I know that doesn't sound difficult. They're pretty simple things. I designed a traffic cone. I said it was going to take... Uh, what was it? Two hours? To print one? I was like, you serious? <laughs> Make it thinner. I've got to do something, because I'm not waiting two hours for one traffic cone. So, I mean, when I... Like, I've got the, the UHF pretty well bang on, I think. So now when I print one, I can go, print me six. Or print me... I think I printed eight, or whatever it was. Just to see how well it'll... No, I printed... Sorry, I printed four with four hand sizes. Uh, what size print bed? When you when you print a shell, you don't print the whole thing in one go. It's a tw uh, 225 by 225 by 250, I think. Um... So you do them in sections. It's that's big enough to do a body. You've just got to do in so many sections. Uh, panels. Yep. So and that's something I'd like to actually do, Camo. If I get to the point where I want to do my own full blown three D build, I want to I want to do the chassis. I want to do the whole lot. Panels that bolt on. Doors that bolt on, the whole nine. But, that could be down the track. Uh, I've designed a fuel filler and a radiator for the Bronco. Nice. I want to build a body comprised of individual panels of aluminum so that it will scratch and dent like a real truck. And the panels can easily be replaced. That's, um, that's a big build. Uh, that'd be epic. It would be a pretty epic build. Just imagine. Like... Proper bonnet hinges, open it up, do up your little scale bolts on your panels. Ugh. Have a scale gasm if we keep talking like that. And we're PG here. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think we're about done for today. We've got a mean ass looking little bloody demon. And then we've got our big beefcake over the back here. That's an awesome truck. I love that. Can't wait to drive it. Won't be today because I'm tired as shit. Once this stream's finished, Jono is going for a nap because he got no sleep last night. Legit, zero minutes. So, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I said I was doing a stream. I'm going to say I'm doing a stream. Nine times out of ten, we do one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the donations. It's epic. You're bloody awesome people. Um, I will put up a post in the in the. I'll put up a post in the group with a poll. Saying, do you want to fire up, uh, fire up the PG4L list this weekend? If so, I've got a feeling we will probably smash that list this weekend. Keep in mind, I will be opening the next list in the morning. It will run for a few hours and I will shut the list. Then I will open it in the evening until it's full. or I, Then I'll shut it and we'll start it again the next morning. This way, people from all different time zones have an even sort of chance... They're getting in and they're getting in and you know having a chance to be in the draw. Um, there were a lot of people that missed out on the um, the FR4 wheel. So I don't know. We're gonna I'm trying to do everything I can so that more people get a chance to enter. I'm thinking possibly gonna do more numbers on the next wheel, maybe 120, something like that. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll work something out so that more of you guys get a chance to jump in and be a part of it. All right. Take care of yourselves. Have fun with the hobby. I'm sure there's other stuff. Like, share, donate if you like, subscribe. All the fun stuff. Just 
I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> I need sleep. All right. Which button do I need here? Stream ending. All right. Have fun. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.